Hi, Capricorn. So, <clears throat> I'm a little bit sick, but I'll be fine. I kept trying to get up and do the reading. And something kept saying, get up, you have to do the reading. Get up, get up, you have to do the reading. And there's a much stronger voice that was like, no, sleep. If you don't sleep, you won't be able to do it. Back and forth, back and forth. As I was trying to sleep, these two influences came and went. And I woke up and I was like, oh, really? Like, this is the state <laughs> I needed to get into to do the Capricorn. So if a lot of you are sick right now, I get it. There's a lot that's been put on you and your immune system may be reacting to it. You also have a lot of different energies coming at you and not all of them are looking at you with fondness. Knight of Pentacles, and yet you prevail. Looking really good, walking in slowly but successfully. First card out. Looking good, looking very good. Productive, walking towards new business, walking towards new money. Makes sense. You have so much in your sign once again. Um, Saturn is a very gracious host. Everybody comes to visit some people for longer than others. And I suspect Saturn, when he is home and Mars visits him, they have quite the time together. Finally, an equal to battle it out with. Queen of Pentacles, we like that. From Knight to Queen. Seven of Pentacles. So remember how I was saying there was one element that was like, get up, do the reading. And there was another element that was like, no, you need to wait. Because if you don't rest and you don't sleep, you're going to get worse and then you won't be able to do it at all. That's a pretty good uh, pictorial of that feeling. Let's keep going. Did you know that in primate culture, the alpha male, if he gets hurt or is sick, he'll go away into the jungle and hide? And come back once in a while and make a great display of strength and then run away again. Because he can't let anyone see him weak. I often quote that story <laughs> as a way of explaining why I get so bent out of shape when I'm sick. Like everyone's like, why do you have an attitude with me if you're sick? And I'm like, because <laughs> I don't want you here. Because I want to be alone in the jungle, okay? And they're like, stop reading these books. I read a lot of books on animal behavior. I just read a lot of books in general. I'm rambling because my mind's a little foggy. That's okay. That's the thing about the gift or whatever you want to call it when you can see. Um, you don't need to turn it on. I tell people that all the time. I'm like, they're like, do you need prep time? Do you, what do you need? And I'm like, nothing, go. And they're like, what do you mean? And I'm like, nothing, go. Like, it's not, it's, it's just, you, you know, okay, come on. So it doesn't really matter how I feel, which is great. Try to find a job where it doesn't matter how you feel, you can still do it. Not always easy. Knight of Wands. For some reason, I knew this card was going to come out. It was at the bottom of the deck when we started. Um, you know, this Mars energy has been coming up as the Aries card, as the Emperor card for everyone. And here, like I said, it's a match of equals. So Saturn and um, Mars coming together, he doesn't show up as the Emperor card because he can't play you like that. And he's coming to your house, so he better not play you like that. Like, all the other signs are getting slightly played, to be honest. Everyone's getting, like, jolted a little too much, you know. Um, like I say this in the Aries videos, I think I've said it at least about my mom all the time like it's just it's so great and then it's like it's too much um I mean no it's not too much because she's my mom but like if she was you know somebody else I'd be like that's too much so Aries doesn't put that energy on when it deals with you the knight of wands Mars doesn't do that when it deals with you which actually makes sense because my brothers are Capricorns and they she doesn't do that with them she's actually much more like, she kind of bosses everybody else around, but she's she treats them like equals. 
That's interesting because that's exactly how Mars is going to be when it comes into your sign. It's not going to uh, come in and make you crazy and make you want to do all kinds of like, you know, impulsive stuff, but it will give you this like nudge. Like the nudge I had when I was sleeping was like, come on, come on, you got to do this. Come on, you got to do this. You know, people are, people are, um, people are waiting on you. People are depending on, and I was like, whoa, that is so Capricorn. Like that is so not me. I, I, Geminis don't think like that. We never think like that. So I was like, oh, wow this is what's going on okay and then the much more you know the stronger knight of pentacles the queen of pentacles energy was like no you have to rest calm down also the knight to queen indicates like i said before uh, an increase in fortune but the increase in fortune is in this way that you have built things and you have put things in motion and you have started projects and you're working on projects now that you're waiting to come to fruition. And what you don't want to do, you see how this is kind of problematic? One is saying wait and the other is like, let's go, let's go, let's go. That's Mars. At least he's not like the emperor being like, I demand that you go, you know, again, he's not going to play you like that. But he is like adding that like, you know, how annoying is that character to someone who has to stand still and watch this bloom? Can you imagine someone like at your back being like, come on, go, 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 go. Just pull them out of that thing. They're ready. They're ready. And the dude's like, they are not ready. <laughs> they're not ready. Stop. So that's what you're going to be dealing with. Now, how about we look at these cards? Okay. Because that's like, it's concise, but it's telling me what the overall is. And then let's do bottom of the deck. Excuse me. Give me one second. I'm just going to reset the camera because the lights, it takes me a second to, I'll be right back. All right, here we go. So that's pretty obvious so far, right? Starting off strong, getting stronger. The getting stronger involves a bit of waiting, not too much, but there is a patience needed. And then the impatience coming in like, hey, 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 but don't you want to rush? No, we already know where, if you know the ending, it's easy to write the beginning. So if you know the ending, don't rush the beginning. Now, there are things that are going to be left behind, things that are really important to your sense of self, things that have to do with that fire sign that is still around. They are also increasing in power. And yet it is somehow that increase that is leading to you leaving where are you going ah so what it looks like here is you having to give something up for your life dream it involves this fire sign that has somehow stayed rooted to you and as you've grown, they've grown. But there is this Cancerian influence that is standing in the way. And there's no way around it. The Eight of Cups is anchoring the reading. There is a leaving. It doesn't seem like you want to leave, but it's necessary. And then we go from Night, Queen, King. Okay, and here you are. You know, Saturn goes retrograde. We have this Mars influence. We have Mercury retrograde right now as I'm making this. So it's like you start, you go, you go, and you're in that best self energy, and then the life path takes off and I think you know yourself that there is an enormous letting go that needs to happen and it's not just with this fire sign it's with the energy surrounding the whole thing you're kind of sick of it this may be a work thing this may be a deal that you just don't want to work on anymore it could be also feeling somehow attacked by that energy, by that fire energy, or by that Cancerian energy, both cardinal here, you too. And when so much of the cardinal is activated, it does make sense that you guys would like bump heads. 
but it seems like someone is coming for your money. And I think this really applies also if you're a Capricorn moon. And I say that because I got the craziest email yesterday from someone who was like looking to like get information on somebody else um, and like defame them basically. And I was like, wow. And I kind of looked at it a little bit and I looked at the person's, you know, their chart and I was like, oh, it's this Capricorn moon. Yeah. Yeah. It's there, you know, it's jealousy when, come on, when you're rising, 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 of course, there's got to be an ebb and a flow. You know, Saturn is there, it's exalted, and now it's about to go retrograde. That's not a big deal, except that you're like, but I just started all this stuff. Come on, let's go. And now what? And now you want me to? And then this energy is coming and going, why are you going backwards? Go forwards. And I know how you guys don't like this. I know if there's anything you guys don't like, it's this. You don't like being jerked around. You don't like being jerked around. And that's exactly what happens this way, this way, this way, this way. You know, even the reading's like irritating. It's like, what is this? What is this? <laughs> I'm irritated for you, but don't worry. You see, even the cups will lessen. Mm. The cups will lessen to the point where you will find peace in the situation. There will be a leaving. There will be a sadness. There will be a sacrifice. There will be a pushing. There will be some regret. But understand that it's because the world is smiling on you and you are exalted. So even if Saturn is going retrograde, it's still going retrograde in your sign, bro. Like, it's fine. You know, it's still your planet is exalted in your sign and you're good. Yeah, okay, it's taking a little bit of a much needed rest. Like, do you understand Saturn came home and had a huge party, right? Okay, 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 okay. This was like, this was like, ready, ready? Okay. Remember in The Godfather, like he can't say no, Vito can't say no to anyone on the day of his daughter's wedding. And so instead of being out there celebrating, he has to like sit inside and take appointments. That's what it's like. It's like Saturn came home. I was wondering why I watched Godfather 1, 2, and 3 the past couple of days. I'm like, oh, I'm so into this. Saturn comes home, has this huge party, takes appointments, you know, afterwards. Remember, we talked about this at the beginning of the year. Has a huge party, invites everyone. It's like taking everybody to task. Like, what'd you do? What'd you do? What'd you do? And then, you know, takes his personal appointments or whatever with the different planets. And then he's like, okay, now... Remember at the, at the end of the meeting or whatever, he's like, can I go enjoy my daughter's wedding now? Right? Like that. So now Saturn is like, listen, all the boxes are checked. All the corners are painted. You know what I'm saying? I refinished the floors. I, I pressed out my wardrobe. I threw away what I didn't need. Everything is like clean and together. And now I'm going to sleep. So when I wake up, everything is awesome and clean and we can get back to work. Now, you guys know that you can sleep. I mean, you guys sleep. My brother sleeps so deep, his eyes open. And I'd be over here like, oh. And he's like, no, 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 it's fine. <laughs> so creepy. So now Saturn wants to sleep. That doesn't mean that the world isn't still smiling on you. That doesn't mean that your planet isn't in your sign. It doesn't mean that your life path isn't rapidly approaching and, you know, and, and evolving in front of you and just becoming more and more exciting. It does mean that when that process starts, we have to let go of stuff. You're not naive. You know that. But does Saturn need to sleep and take a rest? Yes. He wants to do his Batman hang upside down thing. Remember Michael Keaton? He like hangs upside down. Okay. Whatever. So in the extended, we'll look at what's going on under here. Oh, five turning to six. Fantastic. All right. All right. Okay, we'll look at it and we'll clarify, <clears throat> excuse me, we'll clarify for sure the, your card and, and these two and then, you know, do a career one for this, this, obviously, this. But now, let's read this like a story. Let's go through it, okay? Because I don't want you to be 
scared. And that's the other thing about what I said, like people fishing around for like weird information about other people trying to defame them. You have to understand this space that's been created on YouTube is super sacred. So you're going to have all types of people coming in now and trying to disturb something that's genuinely bringing people peace and happiness. Um, there's always going to be someone who tries desperately to poison the well because they don't like the water, you know? <laughs> so it's unfortunate that you guys are dealing um, as you climb this mountain of success so well that people would try to come in and impede your process and really make you regret being a nice person. You know, um, when this person that was looking for information asked me like, oh, you know, do you do you have dealings with, I was like, you know, the thing, the thing with me is like, I'm very Kaiser Soze. You cannot be betrayed if you have no people. You know what I'm saying? Gross point blank. That's me all the way. Like, <laughs> that's my personality all the way. So like, if somebody asks me like, that's your people, unless you're talking about the three Capricorns I'm related to, or the two Capricorns that are my best friends, um, I'm not sure what to tell you, Holmes, you know? Uh, <laughs> and those are the kind of people, Capricorns are the kind of people, you don't need to tell anybody they're your people. Nobody knows, like, people be coming up to my best friend now and being like, oh, you know her? And he's like, uh -huh, whatever, that's none of your business. Why don't you mind your business? <laughs> Why don't you let me worry about who my friends are? Thanks. You know what I'm saying? So when somebody asks me, like, oh, do you know this person? That's your people's or, you know, that's like the, that's like the, like, uptown translation, that's your people's. But, like, what, it, what they were trying to say is, like, you had dealings with this person, you want to talk about it, you know, you, you want to talk shit about this person. And I'm, like, my response was so, like, not even like I'm not even going to show you my righteous indignation or anything. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm going to take this straight from a Kaiser Soze standpoint. Like no, I don't have peoples like that, man. N nobody's my peoples like that. Thanks. Bye. You know what I'm saying? Good luck. Good luck with your endeavors. <laughs> Whatever you call them, because I don't know what you're talking about. Um, but it was the the you know the sneak of it that I was like, damn, this is what they're dealing with right now. That sucks. Like, why try to, you know, and I think that those people, when Saturn goes retrograde, are kind of going to get a thrill. Like, ooh, ah, maybe everything isn't going to work out for them. But psh, you ain't got to worry about nothing because Deepika, honey, you going to marry that man. Yes. And he love you. He love you, love you. Yes, he does. He fixes your earrings, girl. He loves you. Sorry, it's a little Bollywood. <laughs> we just found out that Deepika and Ranveer Singh are getting married. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, so a lot of you are, you know, in the process of, like, engagement, finding out that you're getting married, finding out that you're pregnant, about to, you know, have a baby. All this stuff has to do with the world. The world, what it gives you, it gives you, you know, um... My mom always says, like, Like, there is no... A lack in the house of God like it, you can ask for anything and it will be given to you you just have to ask um, and here it is the asking that has been answered and answered and answered and answered and it is uh, tragic that there are things that then need to be left behind to make room for all this awesome stuff that's coming in and there are going to be sad moments and it is going to cause some tension and sadness okay you know we have the eight of cups in in there under there we have the eight of swords we get it we get that there's going to be you know um a parting of sorts, you know, within the beauty, the, the sadness, that aware thing, the Japanese thing, right? But the more important thing is the forward progress, forward progress, and then the hangman. This is a very difficult thing for the Capricorn to navigate, and I suggest you let Saturn be your voice and not let Mars get in your head. Because it's not coming on strong in the Emperor card, but it's coming on sneaky, where it will grow on you a little. And all of a sudden, you'll start being like mad froggy, and you don't even know you're doing it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Keep your Capricorn cool all the way through this month. Keep your cool. Because you have so much good stuff. You know, when we, we the measure of our character has a lot to do with how we act when we're very successful. So the more, um, and I've noticed this just with being around my dad and, you know, also, with my brothers, when one is deeply successful, there is a sort of magnanimous behavior. You know, they kind of will take everything with a, with a smile and be like, oh, that's okay. That's all right. Because they're not struggling. You understand what I'm saying? It's a mindset. 
And here, I would really like for you to adopt that Saturnian powerful, like, it's all good. It's sad and retrograde. Don't even worry about that. I just need to sleep. I'm tired. You know, this Aries energy, again, let me be, because I'm because I'm sick and I've been looking on trash internet stuff. Listen, I'm sick. I don't want to think about anything. But, you know, Zane, this Aries, like, energy, like, just let it, just let it, you got to move forward. You got to move forward. And now you're going to get a chance to kind of pull back and sleep on it a little bit. And when you wake up, the world will look different. So you're going to hibernate a little bit. You know, it's going to last a while, but within that hibernation, there are things that we will be able to work on, and that's going to be super cool. You know, you got all your stuff together, and you got all your things, and now you can kind of hunker down your cabin and, like, get to work for five months because the part of you that wants to push forward is going to sleep and rest and recharge, and you have that time to do really beautiful things with that have nothing to do with career and money and work and all the stuff that's usually so important to you. You can put it aside and really, like, love on somebody. Yes, Ram Lila. Oh, my God, I'm so happy they're getting married. I'm such a dork. I cannot with myself. I love them. Ah, shut up. And you guys have been like texting me and texting me and Instagramming me and telling me. And I'm like, oh, I love it. Oh, I love us. Us. I love us. Anyway, so that's April. And then in the extended, we'll look at this, okay? Sorry about the sniffling and all that. Can't be helped. I love you guys. Uh, the extended will be available on my website. If you go there and click the extended tabs, it's there or the Shopify link below, but then you have to PayPal and then wait for me to send you a link as opposed to the going to my website where you can just go and it's instant. You can stream it and rent it and buy it and download it and all kinds of stuff. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think there's like five tickets left for Atlanta, so I'll put that link as well. And then I keep forgetting to put the pre-order for my book, but I will do that as well. I love you guys. I'll see you in the extended or in May. Yay, Deepika! Sorry. <laughs> She's a Capricorn. You should be happy.